Hey guys, Rob Robillard from the Concord Carpenter, and today we're looking at the Bosch 6.5 inch cordless circular saw. It's an 18 volt circular saw. It's model number CCS180. This thing spins at 3900 RPMs. It's lightweight, durable, feels great and got good balance, and most, most importantly, it's powerful. It cuts through 2x, it rips through plywood. It's real nice. It'll cut trim. So as far as a job site saw, this thing is this thing's perfect. It's a great, well-made saw. Some of the pros and cons. The, uh, the saw will cut a bevel at up to 50 degrees, which I really liked. But what I didn't like was the, uh, the gauge, or, or basically you know, the indicator to tell me where I was at for a degree. I wasn't sure if I was at the bottom or the top of this little indicator bar. And it turns out the measurement is taken off of the top. It doesn't say it anywhere, and you kind of just got to figure it out on your own. I, I wish it was a little bit more clear, or maybe an arrow or something, a little bit more, uh, you know, because a lot of times you just want to adjust quick and go, and you shouldn't have a learning curve on a saw like that. One thing that I really liked a lot was on the back of the saw, there's a depth of cut guide that gives you a quarter, half, three quarter, and two by. So you can just quickly set your saw up for whatever depth you need it to go, and then make your cuts. Real nice. It'll cut to two and a half inches deep. Uh, it's got a um, an anti-snag kind of design on the bottom guide here, uh, the blade guide. It's, it's a little bit of a beveled slant, so that's not going to get caught up on small pieces and things like that. A few things I didn't like about the saw was on the safety trigger right here, you have to push it in to pull the trigger. And I didn't like that because for me that's an awkward movement. I'd rather just use my thumb and push it down. It's an ambidextrous trigger. It, it's a nice trigger. It's big. It's useful. I mean, you're going to be able to catch it all the way across with gloves on and things like that. I just didn't, um, I didn't get used to it. It took me a while to kind of figure that out, and I, and I was it was awkward for me. It's it's more of a preference thing. The um, other thing that I noticed that I wasn't really excited about, and I think Bosch should pay attention to this one is on the depth of cut, there's a guide here that can pop out of alignment very easily and make the adjustment kind of hard to do. So, you got to be careful of that. If it's not adjusting for your property, don't, don't force it. Make sure that it's in that guide. I think Bosch could address this by just continuing the groove cover over a little bit. Not the end of the world, just something to be aware of. Overall, great cutting saw. Unbelievable power. It comes with a 4.0 amp hour battery. Charges in 45 minutes. And the only negative of the battery position that I found was you have to take the battery off to check the battery gauge, the fuel gauge, because it's facing in on the saw and you really can't see it. It's buried. So that's the only negative with the battery. But this battery is going to let you cut all day long. It's just really powerful and it's got a lot of juice. So overall, it's a great saw. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stand up to the rigors of the job site, and it's going to take a beating. I'm Rob Robillard. You're at ConcordCarpenter.com, and we'll see you at the next tool review. Take care. For expert reviews and problem-solving advice, visit aconcordcarpenter.com.